वेलकम टू एक्सचेंज सर्वर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एक्सचेंज सर्वर 2016-19 विंडोज सर्वर बैकअप एंड रिस्टोर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ विंडोज सर्वर बैकअप एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल बैकअप द एक्सचेंज डेटाबेस विद विंडोज सर्वर बैकअप दैट विल बी ए वी एस एस फुल बैकअप सो दैट अवर ट्रांजेक्शन लॉग्स कैन बी ट्रंकेटेड एंड देन वी विल डिलीट द ओरिजिनल डेटा बेस दैट इज डी बी जीरो वन After that, we will restore the application level database via Windows Server Backup, and finally, we will verify the emails for a user Jack. They are back or not? So let's jump to the server and get started. So right now, I am on a ex02 2019. That is our Exchange Server 2019. So let's go to the PowerShell in order to install the Windows Backup feature. Let me run the command let install Windows feature Windows Server Backup. So it's collecting the data now. and starting the installation the installation has been successfully completed so let me close this and let's go to the services services.msc and if you see the service microsoft exchange server extension for windows server backup this is the service that enables windows server backup user to backup and recover application data for microsoft exchange mean exchange aware vss full backup and the startup type is manual so let me do it automatic and start the service okay if you see the service has been running now in the automatic state so let me close this if you see the drives we have a two drives database e and logs f we have a database db01 2019.edb and inside the log inside the log drives we have a our logs here you can see the 248 items are there let me go back and we have installed a new drive that is a backup drive that is a g drive and right now it is empty so we are going to take a backup inside this drive so let's go to the windows server backup you can see no backup has been configured for this computer so let's try to backup once Here we have two option scheduled and different. So let's go with the different option, and let me choose the custom. So click on next. Here we have to add the item to which we want to take a backup. If we select the bare metal, you can see the database E and log F are not selected. So we are not interested in that. We are just interested in backing up our database E and F. So let me select E and F, and click on. Okay. So in a advanced settings, you can see the VSS settings. So if we have to select the VSS full backup because after that it will truncate the transaction log for the exchange. It's a application aware backup for exchange. So I'm going to select VSS full backup and just click on OK. Now let's proceed with the next. And now we have to choose the backup drive. So it is locally attached with our server. So let's select the local drive. And instead of system reserved, let me select the G drive. That is our backup drive. Let me select this G and click on next. Now you can see the database E and log are selected, and it's a VSS full backup. So let's try to backup now. The backup process has been started. The database sixty six it's completed now. and now it's a backing up the log so log and database both are completed so let me close this and you can see the time of a backup is 7 2 pm you can check the details here here you can see the volume database e and log f and backup target is g drive so let me close this if you notice the time like latest copy of backup is 7 2 pm after that i have sent two email to the mailbox and let's check with those email you can see the this is a email system server you can see the time is 7 10 pm these are the two mail i have sent after we have taken the backup so let's see the logs here if you see 140 items it was more there so after taking a backup it has truncated the logs so if we go to the server and inside the database if i try to dismount this database now you can see the database has been dismounted let's go to the drives and try to delete this database completely inside the database let me try to delete this 
so now you can see everything is deleted for example your data is corrupted or lost and no one is able to log in now there is no database so the user will not able to log in you can see something went wrong even if i refresh it won't able me to log in because there is no database inside the e drive you can see it's empty and if i close this you can see something went wrong message we are having trouble getting to your mailbox right now so let me minimize it and try to recover the data from the backup let's go to the backup once again and try to recover it so we have to recover on this server because the backup lies on this server only so let's click on next and the date is 10 and if you notice the time the time is 7 2 pm and these are the recoverable items e and f and there is some exchange number that related to the application let's click on next and we have the option like files folder hyper v volume and application so we have taken the vss full backup so it's a exchange aware backup so click on application and click on next you can see the application is exchange do not perform a rollover forward recovery for an application database so we are not going to check that because we want our old log plus new log drawback for this is it will recover the complete database it will recover it to the original location if you see this command you can see the name db01 2019 dismounted zero copy queue length so let me click on next it will recover it to the original location we cannot recover the single mailbox through this we can recover complete database through this process so the recovery process has been initiated and if we go to the database you can see right now it is empty let me minimize it and let's wait until the recovery process completes you can see the destination is original location so it seems to be completed now let me close this and you can see the backup is successfully completed we have a db01 2019.edb back in our place and if you see the logs let me open the logs you can see now there is a 252 items earlier there was the less items now there are 252 items so let me close and try to check with the mailbox now the database is mounted automatically let me sign out from here and try to log in with the user vikas let me try to sign in it's a ecp let's go to the oa now you can see the mail after the backup is also there and our older emails are also there so i hope you know now how to take a backup and how to recover from a backup i hope you got it so let's meet in a next video